Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to run through a very simple way to be able to schedule a stop and a start of charging using your iOS device. It's a common frustration with many owners that Tesla's automation only allows you to either start or stop. For this to work you need the Tesla token and we've got a separate video on how to create that. Once you have your tokens you can head over to Tesla Info and in our automation section you can basically compile a URL which will execute the command of your choice. We could set this up so it actually calls the Tesla API directly but because of complications such as the car needs to be awake and to execute a command you need the API token which will time out after about three weeks and have to be refreshed we can actually take the refresh token generate the API token and execute the command after waking the car up all for you in one simple URL. In the example on the screen we've created a charge URL and you can test it. When you execute the test button it will open up a new web page having executed that command. It may take a little while because the car has to wake up which can take 30 or 40 seconds before the command can be successfully executed. In this example we've tried to do a start charge and it's actually saying it's failed and the reason why is because the car is disconnected. Okay we're now going to cover how you build the shortcut and for this we're actually going to use an iPad because it's a little bit easier to see. So open up your shortcuts, click the plus and you want to create a new shortcut. So we're going to rename this one stop charge. To build the shortcut, it's pretty easy, you just need a few simple steps. The first is to type in URL, and then you need to paste in from your email the URL that you sent yourself. To do that, you simply copy it, switch back to shortcuts, and replace the apple.com with the URL. Sometimes it's a little bit fiddly to get the paste option to come up, but just drop that shortcut in. Then on the right you'll see get contents of URL, you simply click that. That will have added an extra step to the shortcut routine which will go off and execute the URL command. You can stop there at that point although you won't get a notification. To add the notification just start typing into the search bar show notification and the option will appear. This is where there's a little bug in the Apple shortcut generation where you can't actually put into the show notification the text you want. Um, there is a bit of a workaround which is effectively to save the shortcut at this point, close the uh, shortcut editing software and restart. Now when you edit the shortcut and have a look at the show notification, when you change the text you can now see contents of URL as an option. Click that, save the shortcut, and just try running it. The first time you run it, you'll be asked to confirm, which is fine, and run it, and you can now see the status message pop up on the screen. If you just knit back in there and edit again, and change over the tab at the top, you can see you can also add this shortcut to an Apple Watch shortcut. And you can do this with any of the commands we've uh, got listed on the website. While we're here, we're just going to quickly duplicate the shortcut rather than recreating all the steps. We'll just open it up, rename it as Start Charging, And you can see at the bottom of the URL, the request is stop charge. So we just need to edit the end of the URL, remove the stop and just make it charge. Okay, if we repeat the command again, we'll see this pop up on the screen. And again, this time it's failed because the car is disconnected, the same as we saw before. Now we're going to look at automation and to do that you click on the automation section, create a new automation, set the time when you want that automation to run and we're just going to do it mid-afternoon just because we can then record it happening. You then want it to execute an action which is under shortcuts, 
run shortcut and then you should be able to see your stop charge or start charge scheduled you want to turn off ask before running otherwise it won't run automatically click done and it's all set up we're now just going to watch this screen while we're waiting for it to run we set it for 20 past at which point the uh, command gets run and when we get the response back it automatically appears on our ipad and that's pretty much all there is to it you just set up the automations that you want to run as and when you want to run them if you're relying on this as your charging scheduler then we'd suggest perhaps starting the charging twice so maybe at 12 o'clock and 5 past 12 um, there's no harm in sending another start charge request when the car's charging and similar for stop charging at the end of the session any of the shortcuts can be automated so you can have the car to precondition as well if you want um, so it's a more flexible way using an apple device and the same principles could be used with google and android devices if that's uh, if that's what you have we're going to do more advanced videos on how to use these shortcuts, but this is a pretty easy way for even relative IT amateurs um, to actually get going. If you like our content, please subscribe and uh, like the video. Thanks very much.